it's good to be here. It's good to be part of these patchwork awards, which are a reminder of how far we've come as we've taken this journey together towards the creation of a patchwork of Britain, but also a reminder of how much more there is still to do, because there is still a lot to do. And that's one of the reasons patchwork is here and why it has, it has a point. I've been doing this uh, writing and broadcasting about politics for, well, actually for quite a lot longer than most of you guys in this room have been alive, and for at least as long as many of the members of parliament who are here have been members of parliament, or those who packed into the, the chamber for the for prime minister's questions just a short while ago. I started here, um, it was in 1980, as a, a young hack for the Press Association News Agency, when Margaret Thatcher was a green, new, young prime minister. And during my time at the Independent newspaper, a few years later on, the Speaker of the House of Commons, John Burke, whose portrait adorns the wall in the, in the next room, well, at that time, he was a fiery young leader of the Federation of Conservative Students. I remember being there as a, a reporter for the, for the Indy, uh, the FCS conference, and John Burko, among other things, was leading a campaign to rename Heathrow Airport, which the FCS decided was far too soft and woolly a name. They wanted it called Thatcher Row, and that was one of the and that was one of the highlights of, a, of, a, of an interesting weekend. Now, a lot of a lot's changed since that time, including the House of Commons itself. There are many more women in the chamber of the House of Commons, which has to be a good thing. Not enough, but there are more women, and there are at least more members of parliament who are members of ethnic minority and underrepresented uh, communities. In the last election in May, just over 40 uh, members came from ethnic minority commu uh, communities. That's about a dozen up on the figure for 2005 and about a dozen up at that point from the figure for, uh, for the previous election. When I started doing this thing uh, during the, the 80s, the mid 80s at the Indy, you could fit all the ethnic minority MPs into a taxi and before that, not long before that, a tandem would have done the job. Before that, you'd have needed a search party, and they would have come back empty-handed. So, look, things have changed. There's a lot more to do. And if Britain is to resemble the House of Commons itself, then obviously more women and more members of minority communities need to be elected to the House of Commons. But one of the big points of patchwork, one of the big points of this gathering and these awards, is that you don't have to be a member of a minority community to, to represent and understand and want to understand and serve um, a constituents from wherever they come, from whatever, whatever community they happen uh, to come from. And I'm very happy to say it is encouraging to be able to say that awareness of that fact has grown, has grown significantly. It's grown faster than the number of MPs who happen to come from minority communities. Now, as a, as a broadcaster with the BBC, I'm not here, it's not my role, it's not my duty to campaign in support of any cause or be an advocate for any particular case. But I am very happy to be a patron of Patchwork and to do whatever I am able to do to support Patchwork and the foundation of the work of, of, of patch, Patchwork. The case for engaging people in our politics is too obvious to state, especially in this company, in this place. But it's not so obvious that there are not millions of people out there who feel that politics has nothing to do with them that knows and understands nothing of their lives, that politicians are a species apart. And nowhere is that, as we, in the, so many of us in this room understand, nowhere is that phenomenon deeper than it is among minority ethnic communities and also among poorer white communities in our towns and cities. Patrick is here to try to do something about all of that. Now, I'm saying this not just because I have a vested interest, because I have. I want people to listen to my programme on Sunday morning. Um, I'm saying it because it happens to be true. And, and this, this, these awards today hopefully will do something to encourage all of us along that road, including our members of parliament. It would be good to see them get their gongs. Those who don't happen to get gongs, it's not because they're not committed as the ones who do get gongs, but as someone, a member of an industry where we are near obsessed with awards, an award ceremony, I do know it's quite nice to get one now and again and to join in the applause when that happens. So let's enjoy the award ceremony a little later on today, Martin. I know that we will. It's been good to be among you here. Let's have a, well, an enjoyable couple of hours. Thank you. Thank you.